Hello. In this set of videos, I'll be focusing on a very important aspect of the structural framework within the pain-free mindset, which is the S and that stands for sleep and the overarching importance of sleep in pain management. Now, you may be thinking that yes, if somebody is in pain, then that means their sleep is going to be disturbed and that would be one direction there. However, the evidence of the last 10 to 20 years has shown that if sleep is disturbed, then it actually sensitizes the nervous system to start or possibly experience chronic pain when you then have a physical or an emotional insult that can cause pain. So that is a slightly surprising finding and we now are in the situation where we accept that sleep and pain and their influence on each other is bi-directional, meaning that they both influence each other at the same time. From my perspective, when thinking about sleep, it's a very foundational element. To the extent that I would say that if you want to have health and well-being as a kind of a column, the top of the column there, then the three sort of columns in my book, I have a graphic that demonstrates well-being at the top, and the three structural columns of diet, exercise, and connection. But the foundation to all of these three is essentially sleep. That's how important sleep is when it comes to health and well being, but more importantly, to pain as well. Because when you have a good WHO recommended seven to nine hours of sleep, you're achieving so many important things. You're actually allowing time for the body to get rid of unwanted waste, not just within the body, but also within the brain where unwanted nerve circuits are taken out. You're ensuring that your gut health is optimized and improved. You're ensuring that a lot of other bodily functions are carried on and made sure that they are optimized. So sleep, when you think about it, one third of your life is spent in having the time of sleep. It has a very important role and our modern day culture of reducing sleep, and I'm as guilty as of that as all of us are. And that is something we need to actively address if we want to reduce the risk of chronic pain. So sleep is a very foundational and important aspect within pain management and is not just about getting good sleep but there is a very good reason that when you improve the quality and the quantity of your sleep you can make a visible difference to your pain management strategy and it becomes an integral part of the mindset framework thank you